Hey you guys, it's Megan and today I am going to start discussing some of the more like psychological, emotional things that I have been discovering with my process of just getting rid of over half of my makeup collection, decluttering my clothing, getting rid of tons of clothes, and just overall trying to have a better like understanding of why I hold on to things and why I just feel this connection to stuff that is really just cluttering up my life and my brain and um there's just so so much that goes into it and I have written down so many notes in my phone and this specific video I wanted to start out with talking about guilt and guilt in terms of not getting rid of things because you feel guilty about something to do with that product or to do with whatever you're not able to let go of or haven't been able to up to this point and there's just I don't know, just a turning point in my brain that was like, why am I holding on to all this stuff? Like, it's not adding value to my life. It's not improving my life in any way. And I feel like every time my birthday rolls around, which was in July, I just get like very introspective and this year more than ever because I was kind of having like an existential crisis about turning 29. I was just like, oh my God, like I just need to change some things about how I've been living my life. And one thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another and like, now I'm on this full self-improvement journey that also goes into like eating healthier and exercising and saving money more than ever and like trying to hit different goals that I really haven't been focused on or have been focused on but not like intentionally and I'm really trying to be intentional about everything I do now and we just have so much to talk about like it's insane how one thought leads me to want to talk about 50,000 other things with you because there's just so much. There's just so much going on in my life that I'm changing for the better, that I think is for the better for me at least. It's an improvement, um, but we will get into all that stuff. And if you have any thoughts or questions or feedback or anything, please, please leave me a comment or DM me on Instagram if you feel comfortable because this is very personal stuff. Like. It seems just like stuff and just like a hobby or whatever, but it all ties back to these like deep seated things in our lives and in our minds. And guilt is a big thing I think a lot of people struggle with and I just never thought about it in the way that I currently am. So I'm gonna go over a few reasons how guilt has held me back from getting rid of makeup specifically, but it also goes into other areas of like clothing and other possessions that I've been holding on to. Um, and so these reasons apply to mostly makeup because that's what I was thinking of when I was making this list, but really it's much broader than that and could apply to like everything I own really. I think one of the main areas of guilt that I have felt especially recently is guilt of having so much. Guilt of excess. Guilt of having more than some people will ever have in their lifetime guilt of accumulating and like hoarding in a sense products and things and just even when I had a lot I always wanted more so guilt about want thinking about all the money I spent on beauty products and all that money that I could have put towards literally anything else 
makes me feel extremely guilty sometimes and um so l really all these kind of intersect and so having so much leads into spending a lot of money on it because i mostly have bought i would say 90 percent of the makeup that i have i've received some as gifts or pr but i'm not a huge influencer i'm not someone that gets piles and piles and piles of makeup every month or every week like i know some do and i am so grateful that i don't because even recently i have completely like stopped accepting pr like there will be things here and there that i do accept but i am just not interested in having things that I never wanted in the first place and that's a lot of PR is like they're sending it to you to influencers and content creators and celebrities and stuff like that not out of the goodness of their heart but out of marketing and it's very inexpensive to send someone with a following product and there's nothing wrong with that and it's not something that companies shouldn't do but especially when you're trying to limit what like you're consuming and what is coming into your household being sent free things sounds really great until you have to deal with the stuff and the packaging and everything like it all leads to having excess and having too much and i have like not completely stop shopping online but i've reined it in like 95 percent like i think i've bought one thing online in the past month and that is unheard of like i would buy like multiple things every week online and we would have just so much packaging and boxes and i would have to like deal with them and they were cluttering up our house and it's just so nice not having to deal with that and that is stuff that i chose to bring in but when you're being sent things like i cannot imagine the like amount of packaging that some of these people have to get rid of every week but anyway i feel like guilt with things is such a double-edged sword because you're guilty about having it or spending money on it but then you're also at least if you're like me you also feel guilty about not using it enough or even using it you feel guilty about it it's like nothing you can do gets rid of the guilt until you change the way you think and that is what i've recently been trying to do is change the way i think about it and instead of feeling guilty about not using something or like using something too much like if i don't use something very much don't feel bad about it like just pass it on to a new home or if it went bad unfortunately which absolutely makes me feel guilty don't let it take up space in your drawers like throw it away or recycle it or do whatever you have to do and some of you guys actually told me lila b has a makeup recycling program and i will link that down below you can send them your like makeup products that either are used up or not used up and they will recycle them in like a responsible way so that is super awesome and i haven't done that yet myself but that is on my list of things to do but um there's just so much guilt from so many different directions and i didn't realize that until recently and guilt of using something especially something expensive or something that you saved up for and now you're scared to use it because you don't want to waste it well it's more wasteful not to use it especially if it's like a, a consumable thing like makeup makeup doesn't last forever makeup will go bad it's not as perishable as food but it will go bad eventually and you should use and enjoy the things that you spent money on especially things that you really really love and if you spend money on something that you end up not really liking well that's just kind of the way things are with beauty like i have realized 
over the years and especially recently that it's okay for things not to work out for you in terms of like beauty or clothing or whatever like that's a risk of not really being able to try before you buy, especially in the past year where we haven't been able to go many places, like testers have been removed from the shelves, like even in clothing stores, a lot of their um, changing rooms have been shut down. And it's hard to know whether or not something's gonna work out for you until you actually try it or wear it or whatever and sometimes with beauty products they won't work out for you and sometimes you're not able to return it or sometimes you wait too long to return it or you just aren't able to get your money back for whatever reason and that's just part of the process i think with makeup and beauty and i've never been a person that forces myself to use things that don't work for me but i know a lot of people do feel like well i spent my hard-earned money on this like i'm gonna use it even if i hate it and i understand why people do that like i didn't in the past but i totally understand like you don't want to let your five ten fifteen twenty fifty dollars go to waste but if something doesn't make you feel good when you use it it's really not worth that money like it's a sunk cost of trial and error and it's just it sucks when something doesn't work out especially something you were looking forward to but it's usually at least in my opinion not worth it to use something that doesn't make you feel good especially when it's something like beauty products or clothing that is like these are industries that are supposed to make us feel better it's not supposed to make us feel worse at least that's how i perceive it like you could perceive it in different ways but if something doesn't make you feel beautiful or good it's not worth your time it like you might feel like you wasted your money but it was a learning experience and you just won't get something like that again either that formula that color that brand like whatever it is it's a learning experience sometimes it can be an expensive one but as long as you take that learning and do something with it and don't make that same mistake in the future if you can like that is worth it in my opinion and that's something i've had to learn and um accept as well because i don't want to waste my money either but it's not really wasting your money if you learned something from it, I guess is how I've tried to reframe it in my mind. Another reason that I hadn't gotten rid of a lot of stuff in the past is that I felt guilty about not using it enough or recently buying it and already wanting to get rid of it. And it's like, well, I just bought this in the past month but I don't really vibe with it, but I just got it, so I should keep it. I have completely done a 180 on that. If I use something one, two, three times, or even just one time, and I am not like in love with it, I'm not vibing with it, I'm not keeping it. I don't want it taking up space. I don't want it bringing me down. I don't want it going to waste. Like I would rather pass it on to someone as soon as I realize I don't like it than have it sit in my drawer for months or years. And then when I finally declutter it, I have to throw it away. And I only used it one or two times. Like I just completely changed how I see that and it's something that like my whole family we're all trying to be better about decluttering because that's our main thing is that we like to keep things and we like to hoard them and save them but I am really 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 working hard at doing the opposite of what I've always done in the past and so if I don't like something it's going I'm never gonna miss it I just don't need it and if it costs me money and i lost some money on it 
again I'm gonna take that as a learning experience now and I might be upset with myself for a while but it's better than it sitting in the drawer and getting old if I could pass it on or if I could return it and get some money back so it's all about like changing your perspective on it and that is not an easy thing to do like that's the hardest part like getting rid of stuff is easy it's not easy but it's easier than changing how you think <laughs> and thankfully those two things kind of happen at the same time for me and it's been a lifetime of figuring this all out but really I think my birthday really shifted something in me and I just want to take better care of myself in all aspects and being surrounded by hundreds of makeup products I still have tons but being surrounded by so much that I could never ever feasibly use and don't really want anyway like if you told me I had to get rid of all my makeup today I don't think I would be upset like honestly there's a part of me that is like let's just get rid of everything like I am really at that point where I would rather have nothing than too much and so I almost want to start at square one but I have spent a lot of money on this stuff and I do like a lot of these products but looking at it and looking at the amount just doesn't make me happy really and so um even though I've gotten rid of so much already there might be more decluttering coming up I haven't decided yet because I don't want to do anything really impulsively that I'll regret but up to this point I haven't regretted getting rid of anything I don't miss any of it I don't even remember what it was like there's not a single thing that I got rid of that I have thought about at all and I got rid of a lot of stuff so it's about like trying not to let that guilt hold you back and I think that is a thing we all struggle with I think we feel guilt a lot more than we think we do at least I do and um I think a lot of people struggle with that and it's something that I'm trying to like maneuver and grapple with and like understand about myself um and something else that I often feel guilty about is getting rid of products that I have recommended to you guys and there will be many 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 things throughout my life as long as I'm on YouTube that I will recommend to you that I will tell you about that I will enjoy and love but they don't have to stay in my life forever and it's never been something that you guys have made me feel guilty about but just in my own head I have held myself back by being like well I just told them I really liked this palette but it's like you can like something but you don't have to keep it forever like I have read so many books that I enjoy and loved and some books I have kept but the majority of books I've read in the past two years I have donated I got what I needed from them and I'm going to pass them on now so I don't feel guilt about that even if I say I love this book I don't feel guilty about getting rid of that book but for some reason with makeup at least in the past I felt very guilty about getting getting rid of anything that I have said that I really like and like I said no one has ever made me feel like that through the comments it's just like in internally I've just told myself that I shouldn't recommend something if I'm not going to keep it forever and that is just not realistic that's not human nature and we're always changing like I film my videos usually at least a week in advance of when you see them and sometimes even by the time I post the video 
I have changed like we are always changing every minute of every day we're learning new things and changing our perspectives and growing as people and I just need to realize that's part of sharing and I want to keep sharing with you guys and not hold myself back by feeling like I always need to stay the same like that's something that I have really tried to overcome and just recently I have felt much more open and honest and not holding myself back like I want to be myself with you guys and I feel like I always have but you always hold back a little bit and I will I'm sure hold back some things but I just want to be more vulnerable with you guys and just more real and honest and help you as much as I possibly can because I think it's important for me as a person putting something out there for people to see. I don't want you guys to only see me as like a beauty person or someone like obsessed with makeup. Like no one in my real life would describe me that way. No one would like people know that I'm into makeup and skincare and they'll ask me questions about it like my real life friends but that's not what we talk about like I I pretty much don't talk about makeup with anyone but you guys <laughs> so I don't want you guys to think that's all I'm about and I don't think that's what you think but sometimes when I look at my videos I realize like that's not how I want to be perceived or come across I'm just trying to be more well-rounded in terms of what I share on my channel and with you guys and this was kind of just an opening like a starting point conversation of some things that held me back with decluttering in the past that I've been trying to overcome and guilt man guilt can hold you back my camera just died that means I've been talking for way too long so I hope you guys enjoyed this first discussion like I said if you have any questions feedback anything you want to share with me I would love to hear it because that will spark more and more and more ideas and I seriously have so many ideas I can't even do them all like I just am overflowing with inspiration and so I just am super excited about this new chapter in my life and I can't wait to share it with you and share you how I am learning and changing and evolving as a person and as a woman and it's just really cool growing up it's really scary but I love getting to know myself more and more and more every year and every day and this has just been a huge turning point like I said. So I hope you guys are all doing really well. Be sure to let me know if you have any thoughts on this topic or anything related in the comments or DM me on Instagram. I would love to get that feedback from you guys and keep the conversation going. So I hope you all are doing really well and staying safe and healthy and I'll see you very soon. Bye.